is up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed cider. As a wise philosopher once said, just when you think you know the answers, I change the questions. And in that spirit, I bring you from, from Windridge Farm in Dallastown, Pennsylvania. Go Wildcats. Crafty Cranberry Hard Apple Cider. I say go Wildcats. As I said, this is uh, from Dallastown, Pennsylvania. Made in Dallastown, Pennsylvania. In fact, only about a mile or less from where I went to school. So I was really co cool to see some folks uh, take an old farmhouse and, and some uh, old farmland and convert it into a uh, convert it into a place like this. They do a, a number of ciders. That's kind of their big thing. They do a few different beers as well, a couple of core beers as well as uh, some one-offs. And then also some uh, non-alcoholic, what they call farm sodas. I think a vanilla flavor and a, like a citrus berry, I believe. Something along those lines. A couple non-alcoholic options for uh, for those that do not want anything alcoholic. Uh, notes from the uh, from the farm. From the windswept hills of Pennsylvania comes a farm-crafted cranberry apple hard cider. Windridge, Windridge Farms Crafty Cranberry Cider is more sophisticated beverage crafted in a traditional champagne style, leaving out excessive amounts of extra candy-like sweeteners that other ciders add. We believe in keeping it simple by using locally pressed apples, yeast, and real cranberry juice. The result is a fresh, clean cranberry apple cider. And it is 5.5% ABV. Uh, apples are big in York County of Pennsylvania. And this is highly effervescent. Uh, plenty of bubbles. Again, I guess in that champagne style, so... Uh, plenty of bubbles early on. It kind of has a bit of a, of a reddish champagne hue to it. Just a, a hint of red or a hint of pink. Um, even as it holds up to the light. Uh, of course, no head once the uh, the initial carbonation disappeared. But I see plenty of bubbles coming to the surface. So, as I said, very much a champagne style uh, of drink. Let's try it. Mm. So as they say, not not sweet at all. I would say, very much natural flavors of the fruit used. I'm um, quite straightforward flavor wise. Cranberry apple. I think the apple is kind of more in the front of the tasting experience. <clears throat> Yeah, really the front's uh, more kind of a little bit neutral. And you kind of get the apples uh, a third to halfway through the drinking experience. And the cranberry is kind of in the back and it also is what lingers a little bit. I, know, I don't know if you, you guys get that same sensation that I do when I drink uh, cranberry juice. Where it all just kind of sticks in the back of your throat and the back of your throat kind of gets a little bit uh phlegmy sorry but phlegmy and um so you're not, i'm not getting any of the phlegm but i am certainly it is kind of that cranberry is just hanging around a little bit in the back of my throat uh very crisp again very effervescent uh the, again the cranberry hanging on just a little bit otherwise it's a pretty clean finish um, the, the cranberry I get, I wouldn't even really call it an aftertaste. It's just, it's just kind of there stuck in the, not stuck, but staying in the back of your throat. Now that I've had a few sips of it, I'm getting used to the, uh, the lack of sweetness. It was a little bit of a surprise, uh, initially, but, um, I've gotten over that and, it, and it's really nice, nice, uh, natural fruits. Again, as I, I believe I said, apples big in York County of Pennsylvania, and the cranberry juice uh, makes for a nice combo. So good stuff. That's a crafty cranberry hard apple cider from Windridge Farm. And that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Now you can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find links and usernames to all those in the description below. And if you feel so inclined, 
like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.